Right guys, how are we all doing? MJT Reviews, bringing you the best in model kit reviews. If you're here for the first time, don't make it your last time. Click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that I bring out a new video. It's as simple as that. So guys, here we go. So, not long ago I told you that I was going to build this Airfix 172nd scale Grumman Duck. <laughs> Bit of a weird name to call a plane, but uh, it certainly doesn't look like a duck. <laughs> and uh, just me being funny. And yes, guys, it's a very nice kit, I must say. And Mr. Sparrowhawk, if you're watching, Ashley, it comes with one flying hours. So that will be going in your box as well. So, yeah, guys, um, Ashley, if you're watching this, um, I don't know how many flying hours are going to be in your box, mate. Um, the model that I'm sending you, it, you could have 35 or 36, who knows. But let me know if you succeed in getting another model out with those flying hours. That would be a nice Christmas present from MJT, MJT Review. So I hope you look forward to that. Make sure you keep me informed, buddy. And PC Plod, let me know um, what you think. When I send you uh, the A400, there might be something else that I might be sending you as well. So I'll just keep you posted on that. Um, but uh, just bear with me, guys. Just bear with me. But uh, anyway, guys, this Grum and Duck straight away. Um, yeah, it seems like a very nice kit. I got told it was from the 1970s. Uh, 1970s or late 70s, I'm not quite sure. Um, but it is a very old kit, guys. Very old kit. Um, and obviously some parts have come loose in the box as well. So what I'm going to do is put that over there. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you the decals that come with it. Um, and the decals don't look that bad, actually. Um, not that bad at all. Not perfect, perfect, but we're all right. And um, tenth. Rescue Squadron, it says that. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, the kit did, however, somewhat put me off. Now, what I'm going to say about that is, basically, you know, I don't like kits that are going to be a pain in the backside, and I don't like kits that have got too much raised panel lines. Now, you're going to see about that anyway. Just after I've showed you um, what this has to give out, so you've got all the historical information that's based at the top right here. And you've got some other information there. Now this is not like any others. So it does show you colour stuff which is great. Fantastic. Now it's only got one part information on this. So you start off with um, just a very basic interior. Um... Then you've got to do the engine, like the cowl in there, and you've got to put the engine in and the propeller blades. You've got to put everything together, obviously. Um, I don't know about the cockpit. The cockpit looks like it's going to be a nightmare. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, guys, just look at all this. <laughs> crazy, crazy, I know. Um, I don't know which one to go for. It says I've got an option whether to go for the Alaskan one. Which is 1948. Or I can go with this sort of anchor one. Which is Argentina 1957. Oh choices, choices, choices guys. I really like this one. No, I'm, I'm not kidding you on that. I really want to go with this one. Um, so I think this one has won it. Which is the Alaskan one. Just because of the colour guys. I'm, I'm not sure about this one. I'm... Uh, it doesn't really appeal to me that one. <laughs> so I think I'll do it the same as the box cover, which is pretty sweet. Pretty nice. Um you did get no paints or brushes with this kit, guys. Um this kit cost me about twelve quid, I think. Twelve pounds something. Something like that when I got it. Um so let's just have a little look at what you get in this bundle of joy. Wow, you know, you know it's an old kit when you get the parts that actually fall off the sprue, guys. <laughs> like this here. Um, so yes, this is a cockpit glass. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have a nightmare with it. It looks alright. 
It looks okay, but it could, eh, could be better. I really don't like fitting in little bits of glass at a time with that, especially when you're using glue, because we all know that the glue scams the actual glass work, which is not good. Um, and yes, so I'm going to show you part of the fuselage right now. Let me just focus in. Come oh, on. There we go, guys. Look at the state of that. Now, I will give it... It's nice for the rivet lines that are on it, but... Oh, it's raised panel lines, guys. Which you all... All of us know, especially all of us modellers, they're an absolute nightmare to get the decal on. Um, which will mean that I'll have to sand some of that away to actually get the decal to actually stick to it and I will have to sand it as well because it looks absolutely you know it's definitely an old model kit guys it's not new you can tell it's just an old kit being stuffed into a new box unfortunately and I'm sorry to bring you that news but you can tell just by the state of it not good airfix not good but then again you, you can't really complain too much, especially for its age, because I was told it was a very old kit, so I do appreciate it for that. Yeah, I can actually see by the... And they feel alright. It's nothing to write home about, but it's okay. Um, you know, the wings feel alright as well. They might be a bit on the heavy side, though. That's what I'm... A little bit concerned about whether I, you know, if I put the wheels down, you know, I don't know if it's gonna snap the wheels with it being a little bit overweight because it is quite a big plane, isn't it? It's quite a heavy one, so yeah. <laughs> Just look at the detail on that engine. I've seen more detail on the Ford Fiesta engine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just look, oh, look at the state of that propeller as well. You think they would have dug it out of the ground or something? I mean, I, I could actually make it into a rust, like like a wreck. I could make it into a wrecked one, but that could be quite cool, isn't it? Like a wrecked one. Let me know in the comments what you think, guys, whether I should make it into a wreck and then slowly, like, sort of have it all decayed on the beach or something. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Gonna need a lot of sanding on this one. <laughs> a lot of sanding indeed. Some of the parts are just so old and you see that one trying to fall off the sprue look. <laughs> Caught you in the act. Uh Yeah, so we got the rings uh, the wing struts. So it's not bad, but it could have done a lot more better, but you know, I presume because of its age, guys, that it's going to be like that anyway. Um, it's not, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to get much out of it, so, you know, once it's all together and stuff. But if I'm making it a wreck, guys, I think that would be quite sweet as well, just to see what it's like in a diorama, like it's all wrecked and stuff. Let me know in the comments anyway, guys, what you think about that. So, yeah, this that's the Grumman Duck I'm going to be starting on. Um, the progress I might do a progress build tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna sand it down tonight and see what I can uh, do with it. So anyway, guys, just know that I do this for you. If you're gonna buy this Grumman Duck um, model kit from Airfix, just know that what you're getting when I've showed you some of the details and stuff of the kit, and that's why I do it, guys, just so it helps you out. Um, so anyway, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Tell your friends all about my channel. It's grown because of you guys. And I'm going to be back tomorrow in a couple more video vlogs. So I hope you're already in prepared for that. And as I always say, guys, enjoy it. Uh, enjoy, my ch uh, enjoy my videos. Enjoy the modelling. And just, as always, keep it MJT. So I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye for now.